hope you're having a great day. So I didn't get a ton done this weekend. It was really windy. And if any of you have ever tried to plant seeds in the wind, you know it doesn't work. Like they either blow out of your hands or blow off the holes. It's just not a good time for seed planting. And here we are again. It's another windy day. And in a couple hours, it's rain. And it has rain forecasted for the entire day. So I might take the leftover flowers in the fridge. There aren't a ton of them and make some last bouquets of the entire season. And then um, I do wanna get more seeds in the ground. So those videos are going to be coming up. I think the weather cools off quite a bit, but the wind and rain go away. So I should be able to this week get the remaining seeds I want in the ground and then we'll go from there. So anyway, I guess today um, I'm out here walking my dogs. I can feel the wind, I can feel the storms coming in not going to be able to get out in the field so I'll just take you along and show you what I do and it's just another day in the life of flower farming here in zone five we're getting into fall so the weather is just kind of determining my days So while it was raining outside, I emptied out my cooler. And that's it. No more flowers in any coolers. And I took some pictures, so I'll show you each of them. Not all the backs look great, but I made some with the fronts. Now, I don't know um, about selling these because this is my first year of having a cooler, keeping them in the cooler until two to three weeks after the frost, which today is what, the 26th? I think our first frost was actually around the 4th. So some of these are like older, um, they look pretty, but they might not last. So I think I'll just either gift them or set them around my house and actually watch what they do so that I know. But here's a closer look. Sorry, it's a little bit dark in here. Maybe I can turn on a light. I don't know if that's gonna help. Probably not. <laughs> so here we go. This is just all of the pink snapdragons that were left with some Dusty Miller. The yellow snapdragons with a little bit of purple status tucked in and the very last of the Adjuratum. <laughs> And then I've got a dahlia, which has been in the cooler probably way too long, some snapdragons, some lisianthus, and some dusty miller. Snapdragons, dusty miller, and a couple lisianthus tucked in. And then a couple dahlias, some snapdragons, some lisianthus, and some dusty miller, along with um, my sweet Annie. And then a bunch of Lysianthus and a couple Snapdragons with Dusty Miller. And I completely forgot and left my dahlias out. So I don't think you're supposed to do that. Like when I feel them now, they're soft and squishy. I think they've rotted. So there might be a couple good ones. Maybe I'll try to salvage those. And then my glads are still seem to be doing good at hardening off in here. So we will see. Okay, so it is such a rainy, bad day. I can't do anything outside and it's been 12 days. So if you go back 12 days in my videos, um, you'll see that I had dug up all the gladiolas and then I just stuck them and let them sit here. And now I'm just gonna cut these off, pull off the old corms and stick these in a box. 
Usually I use like newspaper or some kind of paper. And then I just put this on the bottom of the box. Do a row, put another row, do a row, and so on and so forth. So I have a box here. And I'm just going to do that. So first I'm just gonna snip off this old, which is not a big deal. And then I'm just gonna pull off the old corn. I could save the little cornlets if I wanted to, but I don't. And then that's it. And then I'll just store it like this. I'll probably leave this papery thin stuff on just to keep it nice. And then I'm gonna put it in the box. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing while it's raining. Okay, I'm gonna bring you in closer here. And as you see, I don't really have them touching each other. I have them all kind of spaced apart in the box. Is I'll just get out some newspaper. I'll just cover them up. I think the main reason for doing this is that if they rot or anything and don't touch the other bulbs, then they'll be all right. And now I'll just make another layer and I will continue to do that until I'm done. right now but in the winter it'll be about 40 all winter long so i'll just put it up on the top of a closet shelf and hope for the best it worked last year okay i got all those bulbs done and stored that was a great task to do on a rainy day um i still have my canna it's still doing okay in its pot the method i did for it worked obviously it came back i only saved one of them and i just Thought I put the pot in the window and eventually I'm going to take it out and store it as well. But that's it. I think I'm done storing bulbs. My dahlias didn't make it. They all felt squishy and rotten. I should have immediately after washing them, cleaned them and put them in the container. That's what I did last year. I just completely forgot about them. But I don't have like a ton of dahlias like you guys know and they weren't my favorite. So if I want some, I'll just buy some prettier versions next year. So not a big deal. And... It was just a really good task to do today on the flower farm. I think it's supposed to rain today. And then of course the ground's gonna be really wet tomorrow, but um, we will just see. I still want to clean up that side of the ditch and put daisies in it. And then I'm gonna start, I might try some Bells of Ireland, some Bachelor Buttons. Um, they say you can do Snapdragons, but I really, my Snapdragons did really well and they're one of the main crops I sell. So I will be doing those starting in the basement. Maybe some of the ones I left out there drop seed and I'll see some come back up. Or I could sprinkle a few in a small area, but I'm not gonna rely on it. Like I said, I've been doing perennials. And if they don't come up, I can always start them and put the starts in um, or work on something else the next year. But anyway, I have all of my buckets washed for the season. That's an awesome feeling. And I sent out the last of my flowers today. My mom and dad got some and my house has some and we're just gonna see how the vase life does. Um, some of those flowers I picked on October 4th and today is 
October 24th, and they've been in the cooler. So they've been in the cooler 20 days um, since the frost, and we're gonna just see what is their vase life. They looked really pretty. Like I cut them, put them in flower food, kind of arranged them, I showed you that, and now I'll, I'm just gonna see the vase life. If it's seven days next year, I will feel comfortable still um, saying I have flowers and selling them at that point. I just got to a point where I was like, I'm not sure, and I didn't want to sell anything to anybody and not have it last. So we're doing good. Hopefully get some more seeds in the ground. I don't see any freezing temps. Like, I guess there's freezing temps, but there's no like snow and everything where it kind of just stops you dead in your tracks for a couple weeks at least. So keep on booking this fall and getting things done so that hopefully next year's flower farm is fantastic. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a great day.